Yep, Aunt Myrtle struck again, Bob. I don't understand it. I mean, every year, somehow, some way, she manages to destroy a poor bird for Thanksgiving. But this year, she myrtleized three of them. What? She ruined three turkeys this year? Man, if she's not careful, the PETA organization is gonna come looking for her. I doubt it, Bob. I think PETA stands for people eating tasty animals. <laughs> and trust me, there's never any of that going on at Camp Myrtle's on Thanksgiving. This year, she tested her fine culinary talents on the turducken and somehow went over three. And her ambrosia gravy is always underwhelming to say the least. Oh man, Stinky, that's too bad. Your Thanksgiving dinner destroyed just like all the birds who have gone before them. So, what'd you end up doing for dinner? Oh, I ate all of it. I mean, I was starving, so turducken it was. All tortured looking, beaks and feed, and I wasn't prepared for that at all. Woohoo! Did I hear you boys talking about having turducken for dinner on Thanksgiving? Well, kind of, Zeke. See, we were at my Aunt Myrtle's for dinner, and, uh... Oh, 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 oh uh, um, well, I'm so sorry for your loss, son. <laughs> I hope the three birds weren't family pets or nothing, but, hey, on a happy note, my great, great gravy made us one delicious feast of all feasts. Stinky, Zeke's got a great, great grandma. Let it go, Bob. He's on a roll. Yep, and she made us her soon-to-be world-famous squirpossibile. What? Yep, a squirpossibile. It's a squirrel stuffed inside a possum, which is stuffed inside an armadillo. <laughs> Talk about good gravy. <laughs> and, well, it was all made possible by one quick yank of the steering wheel of my Oh, <laughs> so you missed the rapid again, huh, Zeke? Yeah. I'm telling you, that little booger is quicker than a hiccup. But hey, getting three out of four one make one fine Thanksgiving dinner. I tell you what. What? What? Huh? Oh, well, uh, what I was saying was. Well, that there rabbit always has a look on his face like he's prepared for whatever's coming his way. And, well, that's something we should all think about this time of year. Well, this time of year, I'm thinking Thanksgiving is over. And now it's time for Christmas lights, candy canes, and, yep, me too, Stinky. It's not that complicated. But it sounds like Zeke's brain got stuck in neutral again without a burnt out clutch. Surprise, surprise. Oh, well, yuck it up, boys. But this time, my mind's as clear as a week old mud puddle west of the Pecos. So, you see, the season of Advent's upon us, so, well, we need to be prepared, just like that there rabbit in the road, and keep ever alert for what's to come. We gotta focus on overcoming all the distractions around us. Well, so that we could be ready for what God's got in store for us. I'm not sure what's in store for you, Z, but I hope by the love of God, you're going to find out soon enough. <laughs> now, that's the spirit, son. I think you finally got it. You see, during Advent, we prepare for the birth of baby Jesus, which is the real meaning of Christmas. And, well, how the world was changed with God's beautiful gift to us all. Wait. Gifts? I happen to be a big fan of gifts. Yeah, see, it's very considerate of you to give us gifts. Now, where'd you hide them? Over here? No, wait, if I were you, I'd hide them somewhere. Hey, Pastor Neil's office. Race you there, Bob. <laughs> Get back here, boys. Not my gift to you. We're talking we're talking about God's gift to us all. And oh never mind. Just be prepared, see? Be prepared and stay focused. <laughs>